Hello YouTube and Facebook. How you doing today? My name is Iran. Uh, I'm coming to you because I have some things on my mind. And please like, subscribe, and comment if you feel like it. But today's topic is going to be over concepts. Because there's about there's hundreds of concepts, but about 98% of concepts do not work. They're old, they're outdated, they're stupid. Um, they just don't work. And I don't know where they got them from. And sometimes you really want to ask, where did this concept come from? Because it's not working and it's not doing anything. It's actually hurting us more than it's helping us. Number one concept. I really don't like robotics and computers and all that kind of stuff. I mean, I like computers to do stuff to with and stuff like that. But as far as robots and artificial intelligence and automation doing jobs, that is a stupid concept. Because the number one question that has never been asked is, how much money does this take out of our economy? If they ask that question, they'll get rid of it. And we don't. We don't ask that question because we don't know. Or we do know we don't want to reveal it because if you give one robot a job that takes a job, it's actually taking five jobs away because whoever was doing that job was buying a home or paying rent. He was buying a car, he was buying food, he was buying clothing, he was going out to eat, he was doing all this kind of stuff because he had money to do that. Now you give the job to a robot, he doesn't. And guess what? That robot is not going to buy anything. It's not going to do anything. It's, it's actually taking money from the company that is using the robot. And I don't know how they keep saying, we're saving so much money. No, you're not. No, you are not. Start thinking, people. Start really thinking about this concept. Of, Wait a minute. If I was doing that job, or if my child was doing that job, this is what he would be buying. And then you say, well, they gave the job to a computer, and it's all animated now. And my child, or I'm out of work, and we can't buy this stuff anymore. You can't do this stuff anymore. I mean, just think, just start thinking that if every job was done by computer or automation, who's going to be buying anything? Because number one, they're not people. We're not going to have money to buy it. And then the computer isn't. It doesn't buy anything. It doesn't need anything. I, I thought it was really kind of dumb when they said, well, 
Oh, computer built the house. Well, great. Guess what? It's not going to stay in it. It's not going to be paying money to live in it. So it just took the job from people that would be buying the house. It just took a job from them. A lot of our concepts are just, they're so dumb that it's laughable. And all you do is get a story thinking about them. And if you dissect them, and if you start thinking about them, and think if you gotta not think, don't think hard, think smart. Don't think hard, think smart. You will be like the con- that concept is really dumb. We don't need to, because out of everybody, when they go and they do this and. They talk about computers and they talk about going to this expo or whatever. And they never ask. Or they they never ask how much money is this going to take out of our economy? How much money does this take out of our economy? How, how this because you got to understand a robot affects every theory aspect of life when it takes one job it takes several it really does so like they say well robotics and AI has taken 5 million jobs. Actually, what they need to say is it's taken 5 million jobs. It's actually taken 25 million jobs. Because those 5 million jobs directly that is was do, that is taken is taken the other 25 million because that person who had that job was spending money. They were spending money. That concept is totally flawed. It's totally, totally flawed. The only concept that's working is the concept of distraction. And distract by any means necessary. And we're being distracted by all any means necessary. Because we are, we love to just look at something silly or stupid, or we want to look at somebody committing suicide. We, want to look at, we, we just want to look at that. I don't know why. I don't know what the fascination is with it, but people look at it and it's just like, wow, I guess people do that. A lot of our movies are totally, totally idiotic. They are really idiotic. Look at uh, a show I was, I looked at, I thought it was going to be kind of interesting, and it was, because it told me that Everything that is being done is not worth it. It's not worth it. Because if you go and look at the 100, it's a show called The 100, and the concept of the show, I don't know what the concept of the show is. The concept, uh, oh, oh, yeah, the concept of the show is we came back after 150 years of being in space because of nuclear, a robot set off the bombs. 
And she set off the bombs because she thought we were destroying the country, which we were. She set the bombs off. The, the woman did. And I guess she survived. I, I, I don't understand. Because she did something to her body. And then... Uh, over the years, they were saying this black blood, this child born with black blood is, she's a commander. Well, we looked at it. You looked at it. But, and so they said, well, we're going to send a hundred kids back to see if we can live on planet Earth again. They do that. The kids come back and they come back and they come back to nothing but war. Like, wow, why are we coming back? Come back to war and everything. It's like, should we just stay the way? You come back to all this. They want to use your body for this. They want to do this. They want to do that to you. And it's like, you know something? Why did we come back? We didn't learn anything. We just came back here because we came back to war, came back to a lot of fighting. And the one thing that we really come back to is there's another nuclear thing that takes over the earth. And that's like, oh, that's going to take another five or six years of us being in space. Then we come back to a, a little patch of earth that's on, that's left, and we can live and survive. And that's that's great. And we're going to start war again. Like, we're going to start fighting over this little patch of land instead of saying, hey, we all need to kind of to live on this earth. We got this low patch that we can survive. So why can't we do it? And then you come back and it was so funny. It's like the, the only doctor, she's a drug addict. And I was like, what? <laughs> That's kind of strange to say that we're going to be gone for 200 years and now we come back and we're cannibals and we're this and we're that and we're still killing people and we, did we learn nothing? Is the concept that we just don't evolve? The concept is we just don't we like war. What, what what's the concept? And you see Donald Trump, and the, the the only concept he has is, let's do war. Is that good for us? Is that going to help us evolve? We're not evolving. Because we're not living up to our potential and we're falling into the concept that have destroyed civilizations over and over again. We're falling into that trap. Because the only concept that has been working is a concept of distraction. And distraction by any means necessary. And that's what is being done. We are being distracted by television, by 
YouTube videos, like everything. We are just being so we, we are so bombarded with our jobs and everything else, and that we just don't understand. And it's all because the concepts that we have do not work. They do not work, and they are not going to work. Because the one concept that I really, really wanted to dissect is the concept of big money as to big numbers. Because I think Jeff Bezos has a big number, not big money. I think a lot of companies out there got a big number, not big money, and they want uh, they want to tell us they are making so much money. No, they're not. They're it's, they're they're all living in fantasy. They like living in fantasy land because it makes them seem like they're smart, and they're not. And it distracts us and say, ooh, he's smart. And he's not. Because the one, I think they add a lot of things that don't subtract what they need to subtract. Because if you look at Jeff Bezos and they're adding all of that AI and robotics and all that, they're adding all that in. And you ask, hey, what can they do with that? Uh, nothing. Oh, it's in his net worth. So if that all falls or if that stops working tomorrow, what can he do? Nothing. Well, what is it worth? Nothing. Nothing. Remember, people, nothing from nothing leaves nothing. Nothing from nothing leaves nothing. And remember, too many zeros, you get zero. And that's a concept that they don't want, want people to under, they don't want you to realize. That's what they got to distract you. That's what, they have to distract you from climate change. They got to distract you from money. They got to distract you from everything. And that works because guess what? Um, we got to distract because we don't have the money. We don't, we don't have the know-how. It's simple, but we don't know what we're doing. And sometimes it's like, have you asked? Have you asked? And is it the only thing that you have because the only thing that you think about is the money. And that's all you're thinking about. And what you're thinking about the money, you're messing up everything. You are messing up everything. Because you you're going to kill us. You're going to kill us all. Because you're thinking about right now, not tomorrow. Because I need for you to think about some things. And I want you to think, and I want you to ask petroleum companies, and I know they go around and they're doing this and they're doing that and they're doing this, and they're killing us. 
and they want to um, get the oil and stuff from the Arctic and stuff like that, and they want to kill us. And I need for you to ask them, if we are all dead because of what you did, what is your profit margin? We're all dead because of your stupidity. You weren't trying to figure anything out. You just wanted to kill us because <laughs> I, excuse me, I laugh at this because I heard somebody from Ireland or something. He said, going to the Arctic is going to be less like going to Africa and getting stuff from Africa. And I was, I, I was thinking about that, and I was like, you know, guys, you don't leave Africa in a good situation. So I don't think, and there were people there. I don't know, why are you going to do the Arctic? You're probably going to leave it in a worse situation. So people, we really need to start thinking about our concepts because a lot of them do not work they are not working and I want us to start thinking I am going to put on here some of my ideas because I've learned that you guess what they don't explain stuff to you right. They don't tell you things right. Because they go with the concept of don't give it all to them. Just give them some. And just give them the good part, not the bad. And I want to say there's a lot of bad out there and there ain't, ain't too much good because I think they've learned to hurt instead of help. They learn there's a there's money in the hurt instead of helping, but you know there's actually <laughs> helping instead of hurting. So, I'm just going to say, start thinking. Please comment. Please like. Please subscribe. If you like this video, please comment and tell me, hey, what do you want to hear? What do you want to, you know, I want to hear about your ideas about climate change. I want to hear your ideas about Medicare for All. I want to hear those ideas. Because the one thing that I want to start thinking about is progressives. I need for you to actually start thinking progressively. Okay? So, just remember, there are a lot of concepts that are not working at all. And I want you to...